Salim Jordan! <laughs> Jordan is just a 4 hour flight from Dubai where I began my journey and now I can say that Jordan has one of the world's epic story. So what are we waiting for? My name is Vidal and let's explore Jordan through my lens. And this country has huge history of ancient civilization and that's why I decided to make my first ever vlog on this country, Jordan. And in this video, we are going to talk about Wadiram, we are going to talk about Jirash, we are going to talk about Aman Sitadel, and we are going to talk about Lost City of Petra! Yeah. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Ahalan was Alan Jordan. Arabic teaching, please, yeah. for the video. <laughs> Sayara, it means the car. Okay. okay. You see the flag behind the view? Yeah. Alam. 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 Means? Flag. Means flag. Alam means flag, okay. Flag. Alam Jordan flag. And Jordan is, Alam. This is Shajara. 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 It means tree. Shajara. Tree. Yeah. This is monastery. It was built 200 years BC by Nabataeans. Very huge structure. It's, if you can see, it's, it's like 49 meters in width and 45 meters in height, which makes it twice the size of treasury. So now we are all set to go to the treasury and we are going to take amazing ride of this horse. It's, horse not, is it's not a horse. So, Habibi is a donkey. Oh, donkey. So we are going to take a ride of So we are in the heart of the city, uh, Petra, and that's the monument behind me. It is the great temple of Petra. It was completely covered in two cents until uh, 1993 where it, it was excavated. Uh, like the six, so many things around Petra, which is still under the sand. Uh, so far we have only discovered 40% of Petra. There are so many things which is still mystery in the Petra. But uh, I would like to tell you one more thing that there was a souk behind it. You can see it's a souk market. They call it a market. Uh, where they used to sell so many things but they still don't sell the thepla which I have got from the home So there are three royal tombs in the background one you can see over there and there is one over there and there are actually not three there are so many of them around the city of the Petra it looks like that the people 2000 years ago were more interested during their living period that I want to make a good tomb for myself because they believed in afterlife and they thought that uh, these tombs will be their home, their palace, afterlife. So that's what is the importance of these tombs. So you can see these colors. This is the result of oxidation uh, done due to water. And this is one of the reasons why Petra is called as Rose Red City, which is one of the very famous name given to Petra. Uh, right here in the background is again tomb for the normal people. We already saw a tomb for the privileged people and then there is a treasury which is the tomb for the king. Guys, we are going towards the treasury and we are passing by the area which is called Seek, which is nothing but narrow entrance towards the treasury. It is a natural narrow entrance, that's why it is called Seek. Hello there. So we are walking towards the treasury which is 1.2 km away. And there are these two channels over here, one here and one right over there. So over here they used to have pipes 
in which they used to supply water. The pipes were made of clay. I can't even imagine how they would have built this 2000 years ago. But this is pretty cool, right? I always prefer to rent a car whenever I'm going to explore the cities, you know, it's, it's always better than those uh, standard tour packages because it gives you full freedom wherever you want to go. If you make changes in your plan, it's quite easier. So let's see, we are going to the Amman now. And don't over speed in the other country, otherwise you will get fined. We got just, uh, we are driving little bit faster, so we got a ticket. Let's see. Safe drive, never over speed. It's not good. Try this. Whenever you are here, the restaurant name is Abu Jabara. Whenever you are here, you must try this. Hello guys, so we just saw uh, Aman's Dadal, uh, we saw Hercules Temple, we saw Roman Theatre, it was quite amazing uh, archaeological site and now we are heading towards Jarash and we are going to see ancient remains of Roman Empire, big thing huh? Alan Vasalan, we are at Wadiram Desert and this is the famous sunrise point. You can see an amazing view of sunrise over there. over there where you can stay and then you can have shishas you can have you can watch stars in the night that's the place is all about it <laughs> 